Yo, yo, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, like I said, you know, I, uh, let me straighten this camera up, man. Eh, I'm kind of, I ain't had my coffee yet. I'm on my way to the kitchen to get my coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that car show I showed you guys, man. I was real, um, real pleased how it turned out. We didn't have a whole bunch of cars like they expected because we had like four car shows going over, uh, all over town, man, about four car shows. So, you know, there was more to spread it out, but we got the job done. All the proceeds went towards the kids. So that's what it's all about. Um, I got that Range Rover this morning, the one I did the interior. I'm going to go back this morning and wash and wax it. And then I got the Ferrari. And then I got his Mercedes. Uh, this weather is tricky down here, man. It's been raining for the last week or so. So I'm going to take you guys with me downtown. Um, I haven't actually checked the body out of this Range Rover. I don't know if it needs to be uh, clay barred or what. But if it doesn't, I'll be using my 6-inch porter. So then all I got to do is just wax it. Uh, if it does, I'll be using my DeWalt um, because I needed to turn the RPMs, okay? A uh, little tragic this weekend. I um, had two deaths in my family, unexpected. Uh, that's why I always tell you guys, man, live life, enjoy life. Uh, be happy all the time, man, because you never know when God says, okay, your time is up. I need you back. Uh, I had a cousin that passed away uh, unexpectedly. Uh, we don't quite know what happened. Uh, all I know is, her, you know, she was fine at home. Um, it's just a shocker because we were just talking about our family reunion uh, that we was going to get ready to do next year. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, my younger cousin at that. So, uh, be thankful, man. Uh, love life. And try to live life the best you can, man. And I always do for others, no matter what. Do for others, man, because that's why we're here. Uh, we're only here for a small period of time. And a lot of people don't realize uh, you're just passing through. We're just passing through, so we all going to have to go home. So make sure that, uh, you know, you help people. Uh, tell your family that you love them every day. Uh, because you never know when it's going to be your last time. But anyway, man, uh, let's get on downtown. Let me get my coffee. We'll get on town, uh, downtown and see what we got with the Black Range Rover this morning. And uh, we'll do that. All right? Okay, man, I love all you guys, man. Uh, appreciate the new subscribers. All the old subscribers, you know how I feel about you, man. You guys are great. Uh, so just keep your heads up out there. If your business hasn't bumped up yet, it will. Just uh, I'm trying to show you guys everything that I've uh, had to learn the hard way and hopefully you guys uh, busy to be successful. I heard a lot of successful stories and I heard some still struggling stories. So the ones that are struggling, we are hoping you know you keep watching my videos and correct what you're doing wrong. All right. Okay man I um go get on downtown and take you guys with me. All right. Deuces guys just got done cleaning the rims on this Range Rover and so it's already wet now so we're gonna begin to wash uh, we're gonna skip the, the washing part because I already showed you guys exactly how to wash a vehicle so uh, let's get started and see how it turns out for the wash hey guys excuse me Noah's got a machine running um, just got done washing this Range Rover you can see she's prepped and she's ready to wax like I said you got excuse the noise and she's got a big scratch right here yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that out for Because uh, I always thought we doing this waxing. It. Okay. So you can see uh, the weather just ain't acting right at all. So, get rid, uh, like I said, uh, this particular vehicle doesn't need a um, clay bar because it's not rough. So we'll just go ahead and wax it with uh, the six inch uh, quarter cable. And we'll see how it turns out, all right? All right, guys, I got the six inch portal. I already done did this part over here. We're gonna go down to the front. It's just sitting on here right now. So, 
You don't need much EQ lotion wax. You're good to go. Excuse the noise, I got the generator running. All right, guys, you don't need a lot of product to uh, do what you got to do, and that's the, uh, that's the problem with a lot of details. They use too much product, and for this type of vehicle, before I started waxing, I took my air gun and shot everything out, got, got all the water out so the water won't be in the way of the wax, okay? Let's go up front. Let you guys up here a little bit. Ah. Sorry I'm not in my cheery mood. I'm still thinking about my cousin. Now right, you guys, once again, you don't need a lot of product. That's a hooded area. It's a pretty big area, so you want to use a little bit more, but not much. And on your cord, you want to throw this cord over your shoulder to keep it away from the car because the cord will scratch. Okay guys, that's one side of the hood, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side of the hood. Maybe every two sections of the car, clean your pad off. I put my rag down somewhere. And normally how I clean my port of cable, I just take it. Don't mash the rag up against it. Just let the quarter cable turn. There you go. All right, let me uh, let me go on the other side, you guys.
same amount. All right, guys, you want to work that wax in like I just did? Just work it in, and uh, I should have been done with this thing uh, a couple of days ago, but it just keeps raining, so I have to come back. And it's going to rain again this evening, but that happened in the garage. So uh, that's basically how I wax. So let me finish up because I'm not sure about this weather, and then we'll see how it looks when I'm done, okay? Deuces. Guys, I'm done with the Range Rover. That's what it looks like. The good old wax job. I can't bend down and see can I bend down and get me a photo because it ain't there it is. Uh -oh. ah. There it is right there you guys. Wax job. The EQ lotion wax. Beautiful ride now man. Beautiful ride. Ah. She's all good man. This weather though boy. Woo, this weather. It's kind of cloudy now but you can see the results of it. There it is. Kind of close. She got some bumper scratches when she got too close to the curve over there. Ain't nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to put any shine on this tires. And the reason why is when she starts to roll and the rain hits it, you know what I mean? So I'm going to leave that tire dry. And then the next time when it's sunny, when I wash it, I won't have to worry about trying to get uh, the grease and stuff off the side of a car. All right? So that's how you roll with that. So... <clears throat> As you guys can see, she's spick and span. You know, she's got a couple of my elbow grease spots on it. <laughs> but that's just how it go. All right. Let's go around the back side. <clears throat> there you go. Down to the side. Even on the tail end, you guys. There you go. There we go. <clears throat> Down the sides. Good to go. All right, guys, next in line, there it is. That's the Ferrari. That's the Ferrari, guys. There you go. Uh, a lot of people ask me, say, man, you act like we ain't excited to be doing expensive cars. I said, man, I've been doing cars for long. It's just, you know, I just talk to them. You know, they're like my children. So I don't get too excited, you know. All I know is what I got to do to them. So she's pretty dirty, as you can see. You guys can see, she just need a little washing the waxing so that's what we're gonna do she's a beauty though black on black just like that one over there black on black so all right let's get started with this bad boy <laughs> 